guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be a first well not a first impressions review um, demo and all that um, I actually filmed this video yesterday and it was a total fail when I looked at it I was blurry and you couldn't really see what the hell I was doing so I had to refilm it today so today's video is about the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Fit Me Foundation and I wanted to do a first impressions video for you guys because I've seen this foundation and I wanted to try it. Lucky me, Maybelline was so kind enough to send me a package and they sent me all the foundations and powders. So I definitely wanted to come and do a video for you guys. Um, so let me tell you guys before anything I don't want to be like a liar and tell you guys oh this is the first time I'm trying the foundation this is the third time I've tried this foundation I wanted to do first impressions but let me tell you I'm the type of person that I like to stay in my comfort zone so if I do wear a foundation that I really like I try not to switch it up because I'm afraid I'm not gonna ever find the color I'm gonna be wrong with the color actually and then I'm not gonna like it and then I'm gonna want to return it and then I'm going to go back to my foundation so my mind is like set to my MAC foundation or the makeup forever but I tend to use more my MAC foundation because that's what I've been using for years 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 before I even started doing YouTube videos that's the foundation I've been using so when I received the package I did sit down they did send me all the colors and all the powders and I sat to color match myself because honestly I don't color match myself it is hard for me to buy a drugstore foundation because you can't match yourself especially if they don't let you try them on or anything like that it's just hard for me to color match myself so I did sit down and match myself and then I did apply the foundation just to try it and then I thought to myself that day it's like I should have just filmed it so I can give you guys my first impression review demo and my thoughts about the foundation um literally that day i wore it all day the foundation and let me tell you i wanted to sit down and like oh my god i should have filmed it oh my god like this foundation um so then yesterday i sat down woke up showered okay let's do this video i was trying to move around the settings on my camera being a dummy don't fix what's not broken and i messed up the settings and the whole quality of the video and it was blurry and it was just not cool so I filmed the whole video for nothing and it doesn't look right so I deleted the whole video and everything and I decided to refilm today and I did do this look for you guys so you know I will have this video up I don't know if I'm gonna have it before this one or after but so basically what this foundation says it's a mattifying and pore mattifies and refines pores matches natural tone natural seamless finish mattifies and covers less pores Oh, that's in another language already. I'm already trying to read another language. So that's what it says. It's supposed to keep you mattified and, you know, not oily or anything like that. Um, I do have the powders as well. I did use two powders. So I used the number 110. That powder, I used it for under the eyes. And let me tell you, on the video, on the demo, you guys will see I did use two foundations. Um, I used the number 228 for the all my face. And then to con well, I don't conceal, I don't have to conceal because if you guys see me without makeup, I don't need any concealing or correcting or anything under the eyes. I just apply uh, concealer light just to kind of highlight under the eyes. So I definitely went with one of the con foundations, I want to say concealer, one of the foundations and this is the number 120, it's a lot lighter. So I did apply that under the eyes and I did set it with the powder. This one is a 110 powder, then porcelain, I apply this under the eyes. And then to set the rest of my face, I did use a 110 buff beige. So I think really good. This foundation did match me. Like, I really like how it looks. Um, I am going to wear it all day today. And then I'm going to come back and show you guys what it looks like. I want to tell you guys, I did wear it the first time. And I was like shocked because my face still looked good. And it's hot over here in LA. I mean, yesterday it was at 82 and let me see today we'll take a picture and let me use my snapchat today it's at 80 degrees right now so yesterday was a little bit hotter and then the day before i don't um, remember what it was but 
my foundation was still good i wasn't oily i was looking good my husband was like damn girl did you fix your makeup before we leave no i was like no i've been wearing this all day so yeah so i'm going to wear this makeup out and i want to show you guys um well right now it's what it's 12 57 so we do definitely it's saturday and i'm definitely go out I go out um, with my husband and the family and you know so I'm gonna be in and out of the house and in the AC out of the AC so definitely you know I'm gonna be out um, so I will be showing you guys how it stays all day the first day amazing the second day I did notice that um, I forgot to um, apply my my professionals because I did apply my professionals under my base because I did the same thing I usually do and I forgot to apply the pores so professionals to cover my pores I use that as a base I forgot to use it but I did see that it was kind of like separating but I always had that problem in my nose um, but other than that my whole face looked amazing let me tell you that and yeah so definitely I'm gonna get back to you guys and let you guys know my thoughts and then this battery dies too bathroom because my husband and junior are in the room but it is 8 39 and i'm getting ready to kind of take everything off but this is what the makeup looks like now without the haven't touched stuff or anything i am starting to notice a little bit that i'm getting oily here this is usually where i get oily but the makeup still looks intact like it's still there there's no patches i'm not missing anything it's 
I don't know. It does like bad lighting. I don't know, but yeah, so this is what the face looks like. So I really do like the foundation. I love the coverage, everything. The foundation is really good. Uh, definitely you guys want to go ahead and check it out. I have all that information at the down bar for you guys. Or you guys can just go check out your Walgreens, um, Target, Walmart, all that good stuff. You guys can definitely find the foundation. And yeah, so I want to thank you guys again for watching. I really hope you guys like this first impressions um, video. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye guys.